Hey y'all, it's Diane with Shaw Craft One and my old barn door. And I'm back with another craft with me. We're gonna work in our ring binder journal. Um, the last couple of videos we worked on um, what we put on our page edges. And of course, I had my squirrel moments where we did a few other things too. So I try to stay on track, but you know, you have to just go with the inspiration when the inspiration hits. So I think today we're gonna try and work on our belly bands. And so I have some few, a few ideas um, for belly bands. And I thought maybe um, we can make a few belly bands to go into the journals. I'm working on six journals. Um, so, you know, we might make a few belly bands because I usually like to put, you know, a couple of belly bands in each journal, maybe two or three, sometimes four. You know, if you want to do the horizontal belly bands or the vertical belly bands or whatever. So, um, we're going to work on belly bands today and have fun. We're going to try some different ideas of things that we can do for belly bands. So, at first, real quick, I just wanted to let you guys know, I keep forgetting to tell y'all. Um, but I have paper packs <laughs> in the shop. I have put the cutest little paper packs in the shop. Let me just grab them. Hang on. Okay, so I have different ones. Um, I have like the, um, these are like fall Thanksgiving themed packs. And they're really cute. I think I only have, oops, I'm sorry for bumping the camera. <sighs> I think I only have two of these packs um, with the fall and the Thanksgiving. But I'll just show you one just kind of so you can get an idea of what's in them. Super, super cute little fall themed packs. Um, I think they have three sheets of eight and a half by 11. All the information is in the listings. I don't wanna spend the whole video um, trying to show you the paper packs, so we're just gonna do this quickly. Um, but most of them are double-sided. Um, some of them are not. Um, but they're super, super cute little fall themed paper packs. I love this one. This is a good thick Cartabella. They're just a mixture of different kinds and different brands. Look how pretty that is. Of papers that I thought I would share with y'all because I have so much um, paper and I just kind of wanted to share. So I've got the Thanksgiving fall type packs. Let me just get this back in here. So I think I have two of these, and then I have some of the cutest Halloween packs. Um, these are Halloween papers. So um, let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, I think six of the Halloween packs, but I'll just show you some of the papers that are in these. They are so stinking adorable. And then I've kept some for myself because I think I might try to make a Halloween journal this year just, just to have fun with it. I love this one. Um, this is from Simple Stories. This one's from Cartabella. Look at that, how cute that is with the pumpkins. This one uh, is uh, Adorn It. So, I mean, you know, it's just different name brands. This one's um, Canvas Core, which is also can be known as um, Seven Gypsies. They are one in the same. Um, so, just some super cute little paper packs for Halloween. Um, so, I have several of those. Hang on, let me put this back together. Oh, I also wanted to show you these too because um, some of these eight and a half by 11s, they are, um, well, all, they're embossed. I don't, hopefully you can see that. Some of them have like bones, some are spider webs, some are pumpkins. I think there's some that's ghosts, um, you know, just different kinds. So I have those and then I have some, this is like a, like a fall or a back to school, you know, you could do this for a teacher or whatever. So I think this is in a separate listing. Um, here's a summer one and it's super cute. This is more like a little kit instead of just a paper pack. So you've got all of these little um, sheets. You've got some stickers and some stamps and some actually some even some die cuts in this little pack. And all the information is in um, the Etsy listing. But these are super cute. And then I have a bunch of packs that are just, uh, well, this one is a Seven Gypsies pack. I only have one of these. Um, and um, I, uh, I absolutely love, love, love this paper pack. It is just beautiful. Um, I don't think I have the little thing that 
um, shows what all is in it. But anyway, I have that one. And then these are just um, random packs that I have just different kinds of papers in. So I'll show you one of these. Um, but I mean, it's um, you, you might get cut aparts or sticker sheets, um, but mostly paper. It's mostly all paper, just different kinds of papers that are in these. And there's so, so many that have such cute, cute papers in them. So um, I tried to put between 15 and 20 sheets in each one of these. Um, and I tried to do it by weight. I didn't want it to go over a pound so that it wouldn't cost you an arm and a leg to buy, um, to have them shipped. So I tried to keep the weight under a pound. So between I found between 15 and 20 sheets would keep it under a pound. So the shipping would be cheaper for you. And the prices that I have on these are super, super inexpensive prices. Um, and it's just my way of um, giving all of y'all out there who are looking for some cute scrapbooking paper, but you don't want to spend an arm and a leg because I know how that can be. And, you know, you can spend a lot of money on paper. And um, see, like this one is a cut apart sheet. Um, so this is just a way of, of me kind of giving a little bit back to you and just kind of sharing some of my stash and giving you just like random different lots of scrapbook papers that you can get for a very, very cheap price. Um, it doesn't cost you a whole lot to um, get the paper pack or it doesn't cost you a whole lot to have it shipped either one. So I'll just show you what's in this one just to kind of give you an idea that it's such a different, okay, that one's not coming out easy, um, that it's such a different variety of different kinds of papers. There's Graphic 45, there's Prima papers, there's um, Cartabella, there's uh, Seven Gypsies all different brands of papers and it is just like a mixed variety of cute papers like this one I didn't count this sheet but I just added it in because I think that is so stinking cute with the trains and it would be good for pretty much any kind of uh, paper pack I mean a uh, journal Lord, I can't find my words today. So anyways, like this one is uh, Cartabella. Good thick, thick sheets of paper. There's some simple stories. There's some authentic. I think some might have Stamparia. Um, you know, so anyways, just a variety mix of scrapbook papers for you to get at a very, very low, low price for very cheap shipping so, I just thought I would let y'all know that those are in there. Again, I had been trying to remember to tell y'all in all the videos. They've been in my shop for, I don't know, a week or so, maybe a little longer. And I just kept forgetting to tell you about them. So, anyways, those are in the shop. They're available for you. Um, and I think the fall and the Halloween ones are kind of good timing to let you guys know that they're there. And that way you can get them and do your, your fall journals. So, anyways, let's get started having fun with our ring binder. Ooh, sorry, I'm moving the camera just a little bit. All right, so let's work on some belly bands. Hang on, let me move these paper packs. Okay, so now we're ready to work on belly bands. So the first thing I do is I just kind of flip through and find a spot where I think a belly band would be pretty. It, there would be, this would be a really pretty spot for a belly band, but let's keep going because I do have that little ribbon piece there. So let's just see where we think a belly band would be cute at. Okay, so I love using these tab pages because um, they're good, thick, heavy um, pages. And like with this one, you know, this is really not a recipe ring binder. It's more of a farm ring binder. You can use it for recipes if you want to. But I guess the point is, I don't really want the food showing. So let's do something cute with this one. And I love, this is what I love about ring binders. I can take this out, scoot the ring binder over and work just this page. And I don't have the bulk of the book, you know, being in the way. And it just makes it a little easier to work on it. So let's go ahead. I'm going, I want to cover this page. And I think I'd like to cover it with some cute fabric. So hang on and let me find some fabric. Okay, so I have this fabric, and it's so stinking cute, and I love, I don't know, I'm just feeling the red, white, and blue with this this journal, so um, we'll just go with it. And it's just the right width 
to be able to fit our page. And I think if we go to this end, it's a little skinnier and we might not have to do a lot of cutting. And it looks like that already has a seam on it. So I think what I wanna do is just do it really, really um, shabbily, if that's a word. <laughs> Because basically, I just want it to be like the background. So, we are just going to take our scissors and snip this off here at the edge. And then we're going to just tear it. Because I love a torn edge on my fabric. Okay. So, then what I want to do is I'm just going to kind of try and line it up as best I can. And I don't care... Um, you know that it doesn't fit completely like all the way on this side or whatever um, I do however I would like to kind of even it up because it does kind of look a little wonky let's just see if we do this I may regret this but we're going to see maybe that will straighten it up just a little and that just gives it a little bit of Okay, now see, I don't like that now. <laughs> let's try again. All right, this one's a little bit wider, so let's just do this one more time. I just kind of messed that up, I think. Or for me, it messed up the visual that I had of it. So we're just going to try again and get a piece that fits it better. Okay. So now, I'm just going to kind of spread that out. And I don't care if some of the edges shows. I'm fine with that. All right. And then, I'm just going to take my glue stick. And all I'm going to do is just glue in the very middle. Because I'm going to stitch around the edges. So, it's not going to really matter on the edges. All right. So now, I'm just going to place this like this and stretch it out and then just rub it down into the glue. And then I'm going to take it over to the sewing machine and stitch it. But before I do that, I'm going to decide what kind of a belly band I want on here. Okay, and so I have some of these. This is from my Farming Charm Digital Kit. And I have these strips, so I thought we might could use those. And then I have these. These are my vintage ribbon scans. And so I printed a few out that I thought that I might would like to use. Um, that's something different. <laughs> um, and so we'll just decide. So I think I like this one. I really love this one, but it kind of doesn't go with the red, white, and blue. But I do love this red strip with the chicken and the cow in the little egg basket. I think that would be super cute to go over the top of this. So let's, let's use this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut this out and I'm gonna make you watch me cut it out because that's boring. I'll be right back. All right, so I've got this one cut out and what I wanna do is find my page and measure it. <clears throat> so that I know what size it needs to be. And we're just gonna trim it off there. And then I'm gonna ink the edges. Just to kind of knock off some of the white on, on the edge of my strip. Okay, and then I think I'm just going to kind of brush my ink over in the middle of the strip just to kind of knock away some of the white, give it a little bit of a grungy look, and knock off some of that brightness. And then I think what I want to do, because to me that's kind of thin for that page, so let's add some lace. So I have some lace here. I'm trying to find the end of it. Oh, here we go. I've kind of made a mess out of it. All right, and so I'm just gonna flip it over and I'm gonna grab 
my art glitter glue with the really thin point here. And I'm just going to take Oh, he stopped up. Hang on. Okay, he was really stopped up, so we're going to use this one. Because all I need is a very, very thin strip of glue to go down through here. You can use Fabri-Tac if you want to. Whatever kind of glue you want to use. And so I'm going to just line this lace down the side. Now, when you're putting it on the back side, you have to remember to put it upside down or you'll have the back side showing on the front of your belly band. So I'm just gonna lay this down into my little strip of glue here. And try and line it up as best I can and just pat it down into that glue. A little bit tedious because it's such small lace but I'm okay with that because it's really pretty and dainty and that's kind of what I'm going for okay and then I'm just going to trim that off and we're going to do the same thing on the other side And then we'll just lay our lace down into the glue. I'm trying to make sure we get it all the way to the edge. And then we'll trim that off. I need a little bit more glue right here. Here we go. So now we have a cute little belly band. I better put my little pin back in my glue or that one will dry up too. Okay. And you can iron this if you want to, but when, when I start sewing it, or you can just add a little more glue to get the wrinkle out here. Let me just do that because that wrinkle is going to get on my nerves. There we go. And then I'm just going to take this to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew all the way around the fabric and it will catch the edges of the belly band and so it'll all be one piece. So hang on, I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my whole belly band stitched on to the page and how cute is that? It's a super cute little page. Now let's bring over our ring binder. Now, I will tell y'all, I messed up and I stitched over my holes. So what I did was I just took a little pair of scissors and I just punched back through the holes because they don't have to be perfectly round, you know. And there you have it. It fits right into the journal. And how stinking cute is that? So there we have one belly band. Let's look through and see if we can find a spot to put another belly band. So I like to do some on like some of these plain pages. I do like to leave some of the pages plain just simply to give you um, space to journal when you buy the journal. Um, but a lot of times, you know, y'all know me and white pages. I just don't love white pages. So I always put something on it. So let's do a belly band on this one. And let's do a horizontal belly band. So I think the next kind I want to do is a fabric one. So hang on and let me grab my fabric scraps. Okay, so I have my little bucket of um, fabric scraps here, and then I have this whole little bag. Y'all know the strips that you take off of your digitals when you print your digitals and you cut, you know, the edges off? Well, I have all these strips. <laughs> so let's do one that's a little wide. I have this little strip. It's just, you know, just little strips of scraps that I use, and we'll just measure it. No, oh, we're going sideways with this one. And I'm going to go a little bit above the hole punched there. And that way we don't have to worry about punching a hole 
in our belly band. You can if you want to. I'm just not going to with this one. And then I'm just going to, well, maybe. Here's the problem. I'm dealing with the bulk of the book. So let's move it. this again. Oh, there's a little mat bug. Oh, I can't stand it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Squirrel. All right, so now we're just going to tear him off. And so we have a cute little strip. And then I'm just going to start taking little snippets of my fabric pieces. Like this one's cute. So let's just take a little strip of this one and put him here. Actually, we can put some, we can go ahead and put some glue. And I'm not gonna put the glue in the center. I am going to, let me, you know what? I'm gonna bring the camera down so you can see a little better. Hang on. Okay, hopefully that's better. So I'm just gonna kind of glue. I'm not gonna glue down the middle because I'm actually gonna sew down the middle. If you don't have a sewing machine or you don't wanna sew it, it's okay, you don't have to. Um, you can, you know, glue down the middle. I would make sure you glue, you know, really good if you're not going to stitch it. So, anyways, let's just take a piece like this. And then I have this piece. We'll cut us a little piece off of here. And maybe make him a little smaller. And we can put him right here. And what else do we have? Ooh, let's put some chickens. I have some chickens. Aren't they cute? Let's tear this one. You can cut, you can tear. I like the shabby edge, so I tend to tear more than I cut. And even with my paper, I tend to tear more than I cut. What else do we have? Ooh, we have this one. This is, uh, it's got these pretty little flowers. Let's get us a piece of this one. Hmm. He didn't want to tear that way. I was attempting to make these videos, <clears throat> excuse me, not be super long videos, but they are turning out to be longer videos than I intended, so I apologize for that. Um, however, let's do one with this little truck. How cute is he? This has to be some of my favorite fabric. And I'm just gonna cut this so that I can get the exact image that I want out of it. And we'll kind of put him right here like this. And then we just need a little small one down at the bottom. Let's put some red. Oh, you know what? This needs to go this way because it's a horizontal. Let's do it in this way. Okay. Redo. We're going to take all this off because I forgot we have a horizontal belly band instead of a vertical one. And you can still use the same little piece of paper. Right, and this one can still go the same way. We want to do that. That'll be cute like that. Okay. And then we can put the chickens this way. And then we'll put the truck kind of right here in the center. And our little florally one can go this way. And our red, we'll put him underneath like that. Okay, so now I'm just going to take this to the sewing machine and stitch right down the middle. I'll be right back. Okay, so now we've got him stitched down the middle and we can add him to the page just like this. And I'm just going to glue him on. Or we can add some little buttons and add, you know, some decorations. Um, I don't think I want to add buttons, but I'm just kind of trying to give you some ideas and show you some different things that you can do. Um, you can add little butterflies. I mean, how cute is that? 
Um, all kinds of different things you can do, but I like this one. Just I'm just going to leave him plain because I just like how he looks. So we're just going to go ahead and put our glue on the edge of our belly band. Just like that. And then we can put our page back in our binder and see what it looks like. Now how cute is that? It just adds something to the white page, you know, so it's not just so stark white. You've got just a little bit of something that you can play with on there. And then you can put some pretties. You can stamp on it. You can put a sticker on it or whatever. Um, and then, you know, if you wanted somebody to have room for journaling, put them some extra sheets in here for, um, for journaling. So, let's see. We're at 26 minutes now. And we've only got two belly bands made. I'm not doing so good, am I? <laughs> so sorry about that. Um... I did want to answer some questions, though, um, about uh, from the previous videos that some of the ladies have commented on, and they wanted to know where I find my ring binders. And um, the main places that I find my ring binders is I go to um, the thrift stores, um, usually in the book section. Um, Goodwill has book sections, or they used to. Um, I think they're trying to um, do away with their book sections. I know that my Habitat for Humanity did away with their book section. Um, but you can also go to used bookstores to find them. Um, and you can use any kind of ring binder, like the cookbooks, the landscaping books, the floral books, um, the handyman books. Any book that you can find that's the ring binder that has a thicker cover. And then I had somebody ask me... Um, you know, could, could you use the regular, like the school notebooks ring binders? You can use those. They're a little harder to cover. I've never actually used one, um, but I've seen them used. Um, I, I prefer these because, I num number one, I like the size of them, but I like the um i like the thickness of these covers you know they're a little bit thicker than just a regular um school binder but if you wanted to if if you wanted to thicken it up you could add some chipboard to it before you cover it um or whatever but you can do, you can use those you it's a journal it's your journal you can do whatever you want to with your journal it does not matter um, you can do whatever you want to with it. So you can use those. And I think that, you know, you can make them pretty. And I'll show you one that's kind of like a regular ring binder journal. Hang on. My friend journal is like that. Hang on a second. Let me grab it. Okay, so this is my friend journal that I've been working in. Well, it's been forever since I've got to work in it. I need to work in it again. Um, but, yeah. So, see, this is like... Um, it's the size of a, like a school binder. I'm going to just move the camera up a little bit so you can see it a little better. Can y'all see that okay? Sorry, I'm <laughs> trying to make sure you can see. Um, but yeah, so this is the regular size of a ring binder. And this is already like this, like it came with this cover. And I just thought the cover was so pretty. So I just left it like it was. But I mean, you could cover this and make it into whatever... Um, theme you want it to be so yeah i would definitely say you can use a regular ring binder and then another one of the questions um was hang on let me look okay i know what it was she had asked um when she had asked where do i find my ring binders i was giving her some information and it came to mind when I go to my thrift stores, like one time I went to the thrift store and I asked them, did they have ring binders? And they said, oh no, we usually just throw those out because nobody buys them. And I just, just about died. And I was like, oh my goodness. So I became her friend and I said, you know, um, if you come across ring binders, here's my card, call me. And so, you know, I'll come and get the ring binders and, and that way you don't have to throw them away. So, you know, you might kind of even get them that way. So, make friends with the people at your craft stores, um, at your thrift stores, at your Goodwills. You know, make friends with these people. Donate things to them that you're not going to use in your craft room or, you know, whatever. But, like, we have one thrift store here who um, 
she does like a lot of donations to um there's a um a drug abuse substance abuse home that's close to her thrift store and so um a lot of times when they get a new new client in um you know it's there's a lady's house and there's a men's house and so sometimes when they get a new a new lady they'll send her down there to that thrift shop and and that thrift store owner donates a certain amount of clothing for that person, you know, or items that she can use for clothing, shoes, things like that. So, you know, they, they do good things, um, especially this one. And I, I support her all the time. I give to her whatever I can give to her and um, so that she can, you know, use it in her thrift store. But anyway, the whole point of that was to say, um, you know, Make friends with your thrift store owners and let them know what you're looking for. Give them your phone number. They'll call you or email you or whatever that you guys work out. So, um, you know, you can get things that way. Yard sales, estate sales, things like that. So, um, all right. Well, I've talked my head off and haven't only, I've only done two, uh, <laughs> two belly bands. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the video here. I'm going to go ahead and keep doing belly bands for all six of the journals and I may video it I think I will go ahead and video it if y'all don't want to see it then just tell me in in the comments on this video and I won't even upload it um, but if you do want to see it let me know and I will upload it I just don't want to bore y'all to death making belly bands is what I'm saying so anyways another one last thing I did think about doing some ring binder kits for y'all um, if that would be something that you'd be interested in so that you can follow along with these videos and make your own ring binder. So let me know if that's something that you would be interested in and I would be happy to put some kits together for y'all. If not, don't worry about it, you know, but if y'all comment below and let me know you want ring binder kits, um, I will put some together for you and get them in the shop as uh, sometime this week so that you can have those available and you can um, work on the ring binders with me. So just let me know and um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video here and I will continue making belly bands for the other ring binder journals. I, I probably will video it simply because I'm going to do some different kinds. Um, so I don't know. If you're bored with it, just don't watch that video. <laughs> so anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope you're having a great weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your comments in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you will. If there are any supplies that you need, check in the link below in my description box because um, I do have uh, some Amazon um, links down there and it, I do get a little bit of of very little money off of it but it you know every little bit helps in these times so if you're looking for something check the uh, description box below hope you guys have a great day big hugs